You know that if there's a catfight going down in Hollywood, one of the Kardashians is probably going to be participating. But this time it isn't Courtney, it's Kim. Kim Kardashian has recently been called out for trying to flirt with LeBron James and who's calling her out. None other than his wife, Savannah James herself. Everyone has their own truth of how they think something happened. Stick around and we'll give you all the dirty deets in this video. Kim openly started flirting with LeBron on social media for everyone to see. And of course, Savannah wasn't having any of it. No way was she going to let Kim take her man. But Kim actually had the audacity to get smirky back at her too. Like, girl, that is some next level shadiness. Word on the street is that Kim is desperate to get her hands on a new man, and that sort of makes sense considering how weird she's been acting the past few weeks. Sources close to Kim say she wants to be connected to a male celeb as soon as possible. So I mean, she's got goals and a type, but if that's all she's looking for in a relationship that's pretty shallow and it makes it seem like she's clout chasing from where we sit. To this end, Kris Jenner and Kim went to an LA Lakers game in support of Tristan Thompson. Of course, the pair supporting Thompson has sparked rumors that he and Chloe have gotten back together after he cheated on her. Tristan recently lost his mom and Chloe has been instrumental in getting him through that dark time in his life. And you all know that there's tons of people out there that co-parent, but don't cohabitate. But what's more interesting to consider is that Kim may be considering Tristan as a potential romantic candidate. If you follow the Car Jenners and their dating lives, then you know that they don't have any problems passing men back and forth between them. So even though Chloe has babies with Tristan, Kim may be thinking that if they aren't together, he's fair game, and Chris may be supporting that goal because the Kardashians aren't the it girls they once were. Tristan just got signed over to the LA Lakers, which is the same team that LeBron James is on. He's usually all over tabloids for some new sexual exploits and having the nerve to cheat on Chloe. Of course, people are giving the Car Jenners the side eye for supporting Tristan after he cheated on Chloe so publicly. But why is it that the clan hasn't completely dropped Tristan? Let's get back to Kim. She posted a picture of Tristan, which wasn't that scandalous. But she also posted this picture of LeBron. That's what set the rumor mill off. Why on earth was she posting a picture of LeBron James? When you look closely at the picture, the game wasn't over. So these weren't pictures that LeBron was posing for. And does this look like the face of a man that's happy that someone's taking his picture to you? It looks like Kim's over here all out fangirling over LeBron and he's mad aff about this impromptu photo op. But more than that, people feel that the picture was flirty and that's pretty inappropriate considering that LeBron is a married family man. Considering that their oldest son is turning 19 this year, it's obvious to see that the couple has been together for more than a decade and is well established. So now people are criticizing Kim for the flirty pic and saying that it's inappropriate for her to try to make moves on LeBron. Maybe she didn't think that through because surely no one would want thousands of loyal LeBron James fans coming for them online. But then again, the Car Jenners are all about the limelight, and they seem to have adopted the logic that no publicity is bad publicity, so maybe it was a stunt to get people talking about Kim. As long as she's trending, who cares about why, right? LeBron is about as unproblematic as it gets. In the sports industry, it's pretty commonplace to learn that an athlete has cheated on his wife, but not LeBron. There hadn't even been rumors about it. Plus, LeBron and Savannah are a dynamic black duo, setting Hollywood relationship goals for everyone. So it's not really any wonder that fans are dragging Kim for trying to make moves on LeBron. But what's even more messed up is that this is a trend. This is the second married man that Kim has flirted with during the past couple of weeks. She went to an Usher concert last week, and her videos make it look like she had a blast. Usher even serenaded her when he picked her out of the crowd, which is every 90s baby's dream come true, hi right? Butcher happens to be a great showman, so this level of Theatrix is just like a normal Tuesday for him because he's always doing the most at his concerts. Several media outlets then began to report speculation that there was some sort of romantic entanglement going on between Kim K and Usher. That felt pretty baseless because all they had to go on was one performance at a concert, and as we just discussed, he didn't really do anything out of the ordinary. But we all know that the Kardashians have the media on lock and can get them to write stories about whatever they want because they grease those wheels. And it seems pretty likely that Chris wanted to keep Kim in the headlines, even if the headlines weren't true. There's a lot of talk about how the Kardashians aren't relevant anymore, and since the debacle with Met Gala invitations, Kanye doing his damnedest to expose Kim and the whole clan, and the whole Kylie slash Hailey Bieber slash Selena Gomez thing, the Kardashians aren't making headlines the way they once were. Even when they are, it's not usually good news, it's some sort of scandal. 
It's obvious that when looking for romantic partners, the Kardashian girls choose from the male celebrity dating pool because their relationships with high-profile celebrities keep them relevant. But it's 2023 and we're all about feminism here. It's pretty sad when such rich and powerful women are looking for self-worth in male celebrities instead of building up their brand and introducing new products or fashion or cosmetic lines to the world. Kim is supposed to be in the upcoming season of American Horror Story, so that seems relevant enough to get her into headlines without her mom basically pimping her out to men in Hollywood. Plus, there's a new season of their reality TV show coming up, which will have people talking about them again. This is why people speculate that the family clings to Tristan for dear life, because besides Travis Barker, he's the only other man in their lives right now. And Travis Barker isn't about drama, so he's not very newsworthy and that doesn't work well for the Kardashians' PR stunts. But Tristan, he not only doesn't mind drama out of the Kardashians, but he creates it himself. In fact, people know Tristan more for his romantic life than they know about his NBA career. Say what you will about the Kardashians, but they know how to keep their names in everyone's mouths. And that's why Chris and Kim went to Tristan's game. They're clinging to that last shred of relevance they have left. Well, maybe. Some people also think that Kim was also going specifically to flirt with LeBron James. The Kardashians don't really have a problem with approaching men they're already taken. So, needless to say, we can't put it past Kim to be going after LeBron, even though he's married. But Savannah isn't having any of that nonsense. Once she learned about the picture, she made sure to put Kim in her place. Insiders close to Savannah have said that she'll do what it takes to protect her marriage and that she knows enough about the Kardashians to know that protecting her marriage means keeping them the hell away from her husband. The insider said that Savannah flipped out when she saw Kim's picture of LeBron and quickly deduced that the Kardashians were trying to use her family to stir up some drama for the new season of their reality show. And because of that, Savannah didn't make a public scene because she didn't want to be part of their media circus. The Insider also reports that Savannah was pissed because though her and Kim weren't the best of friends, they'd met a few times and she didn't really expect Kim to be so disrespectful to her and her marriage to LeBron because they were friendly and civil. Kim deleted the picture of LeBron a few hours after posting it, likely because of her friendliness with Savannah. I mean, the Kardashians historically haven't deleted posts or turned off comments on them, even if they're getting massive amounts of backlash and hate. So there was a reason she deleted that picture and it had nothing to do with bad publicity and probably had everything to do with Savannah getting mad about Kim trying to take her man. We know that Savannah wasn't the only one to pick up on the disrespect. One commenter said, Is Savannah going to have to check Kim Kardashian? We stand 10 toes down behind her. Another said, Savannah is very private, but one thing we do know about her is she does not play when it comes to her family. But for Savannah, we will not play about any disrespect towards Savannah and her family. Kim better take several seats and worry about her kids instead of someone's husband, especially Savannah's husband. Personally, I'd probably pay money to watch Savannah beat Kim K's ass for trying to steal her man. What do you guys think of Kim's antics? Are you sympathetic towards Savannah? How do you feel about the Kardashians hitting on men that are already in relationships? Let us know down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss the next video. Bye.